Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel, Whacked here, and in this video I'm going to be looking at Markiplier and some of the tasteful pictures he recently released and Twitter's reaction to that. Before you jump into the video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing or both as it really helped the channel's growth and I'm going to try to be getting back to at least consistent uploading now, whereas, well, I haven't been doing that. My Discord and Twitter are going to be in the description below and with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. For those of you who are unacquainted with who Markiplier is or just don't watch his content, he's one of the largest gaming content creators on the platform and was actually recently given a streamy for Gamer of the Year. Markiplier's been on YouTube for an extremely long time now and is known as one of the OG creators of YouTube and I remember a period of time where it was Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie and those three were like the triad leading YouTube. So many people including myself grew up watching Markiplier and as of recent Markiplier decided to drop an OnlyFans for the purpose of donating all proceeds to charity. 15 hours ago Markiplier uploaded the video here and with that came his OnlyFans and also came the drawback of setting his fans to OnlyFans. Promised. The deal is now complete. And the first of three drops of tasteful nudes is now available for purchase, the proceeds of which will all be going to charity. Because not long after Markiplier uploaded his video on his OnlyFans, well, the entire website crashed. I kid you not, very shortly after uploading his video, this tweet goes out saying, Really guys? And he attaches an image of OnlyFans, or what I can assume is an OnlyFans link saying, Sorry, this page is not available. The link you followed may be broken, or the page may have been removed. And I think I could have seen this, or anyone could have seen this coming from a mile away, considering what happened the last time Markiplier sent his fans somewhere. A reply reads, You literally had us check into government websites and it crashed. Now you offer your tasteful news and didn't expect this, and that's a fair statement. With how dedicated Markiplier's fan base is to him and his content, the amount of people that subscribed to the OnlyFans was enough to crash it. Other than that, the amount of people that have seen Markiplier nude and nude photos of Markiplier does raise the question when and if people are going to expose these photos online. I just want to point out that if you are leaking Markiplier's OnlyFans, you are effectively stealing from charity. Shame on you. That is all. I 100% agree with this person because even though it's not uncommon to see stuff from OnlyFans get leaked, I mean if you've been on the internet for a while now you should know, leaking Markiplier's pictures, let alone anything he posts on the OnlyFans when it's 100% for charity and nothing's going into his pocket, I mean you really do have to be some sort of low individual to do that or want to get attention. One of the two, there's no nothing else to it. Because due to the sheer amount of people out there that want to see Markiplier's pictures, I mean if you really do want to see it, if you're one of those people out there, you need to see what Markiplier uploading on OnlyFans, you can just subscribe, pay the fee required, you're donating to charity, I mean, it's for a good cause. But if there's one thing being on Twitter has taught me, it's that people don't do things for a good reason, let alone people just don't do good things. Reporting every leak I see, I'm done with work, too tired to do anything productive, and have plenty of time. It's $3, people. If you honestly don't have that slash can't access it, you'll survive until you can, I promise. And I mean, that's a good way to put it. It's not that people don't have $3 to spend online. It's just who would want to spend $3 towards a charity when they can just access it for free on Twitter. I mean, look at these reports. But yeah, that's all I have to say about the Markiplier situation. Twitter is absolute hell right now. Just so you all know, a little, a little bit of info to give you guys before I end the video. R. Kelly dropped a new album today. The CEO of Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency, is going after FTX's leader, Sam Bankman Freed. Trump's trending, Putin's trending. World War III is like the most common thing I've seen trending in these past six months of not uploading. The world is just going to shit, it seems like, and I'm just going to try to get back to uploading and hopefully everything will go back to normal. I also want to give a huge thanks to any single person who is watching the video right now or has watched any of my content in the past. The support is crazy. I really do appreciate every single one of you and thank you for letting my dreams be a possibility. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and comment something down below because I respond to all comments. I hope you all have a blessed day. Go do something productive with the rest of the 24 hours in your day and yeah. I'll see you on the next upload, which should be in less than a week.